we go beginner's guide hi guys welcome back today i am going to show you how you can use clickup.com how clickup.com works how you can manage your tasks better and get more productive with clickup so let's get started first what you have to do is you will simply uh, go to clickup.com clickup.com is an amazing platform an amazing project management software that allows you to manage your projects and your tasks you can actually manage your everyday task or your business with click up so if you have not signed up for click up it's super easy to do all you have to do is just sign up with your email address and set up a reasonable password and then you will get your own click up so if you already have your click up then you will simply log into it so as a beginner how to get started with click up how you will create your new space and how you can create these boards how you can add different tasks and what are different features we get within our click up that's what i want to show you today so let's start with the process it's super fun and you will actually understand it way better after watching this tutorial so what you have to do is when we open up our ClickUp, if you do not have a space you can actually create a new space from here you will see the option of new space simply click on that and i will be creating a new space for you and then we will be adding new boards and then we will be adding new tasks into it so i'm gonna start from the beginning because like you are a beginner and you want to know how to get started with click up so space name what is going to be the name of your space so you can actually name it whatever you want to most of the time we go for uh, any space like any business if you have more than one business you can go for the name of that business for example if you have youtube channels then you will uh, go for each youtube channel can have its own space where you can do content managing where you can kind of like add your topics and you can manage and um you know get more productive and you will be able to manage your projects better and manage your team better so the space name for now i'm just gonna go ahead and call it test space okay and i'm gonna click on next now i can simply select any color from here because this is going to be the space color each space can have different color or you can also go with different logos so for this one i'm gonna go for a pizza because it looks good or a wi-fi camera let's go with a pizza and then i'm gonna go for a color red click on next then uh you can actually create two types of space on click we can go for a you know private space where you will not be able to add different people and nobody will be able to get access to your bots and then we have a workspace where you can add your team members so i'm gonna go with a workspace that will actually have all the members then we have to add these different statuses and different you know templates to kind of like help us manage our you know tasks better so you can actually go with any of these or you can go with content okay content one looks good to me the template of content if you want to go for a custom one and start from the scratch you can go for a custom one but i can go with content because i will be doing the content creation so i think this looks pretty amazing and i can add as many status as i want to into my ClickUp workspace simply click on next now i have these different boards to choose from these are going to be different you know tags i have priority email custom field time tracking tags and multiple assignees so this looks good and i can actually go to show more and then we have dependency warning time estimates incomplete warning so these are the different tags that you can actually go for so i am good with these i'm going to click on next then we have views like what kind of views you want of your workspace you want a list view you want a calendar view i want a calendar view then we have activity we have gantt we have table so i'm gonna go with every view possible because i want to get access and i want to kind of like manage my workspace better and i want to view it from every angle so i'm gonna go with every 
uh, map that is available. We have mind map, we have timelines, we have workload, we have table, we have calendar. So I'm going with all of them. And I suggest you should go with a calendar view that is a must and also go with a board view so you have a better idea. Simply click on review space and my new space will be created with my ClickUp. So this is the create space option. And now you will see that I will have my own new space right here. So there you go. You can see right now I am on my space, which is known as test. So this is a list view. I can go for a board view so I can give you a better idea about it. So what happens is I can also now go for a calendar view because the more views you want to add, you can just go ahead and add them. So I have all of them right here. I have automate option above right here. And then we have all of these different options right here. So these options are like, for example, this one is record clip. This one is track time, notepad, new document, calendar and task. And in here, we get all of these different options again. So if you want to unpin any of these, I have kind of like pinned every option available, but you can just go ahead and unpin them from here and you can get access to them from here. Now, if you want to add a new task, you will get the option of task right here. Simply click on that. Let's just say that I want to add a task. Let's call it task one. And it is going to be in a list, which is named list and it is going to be in my test workspace. Uh, you can add assignees for now. I'm not gonna assign it to somebody, but let's just say I want to assign it to myself. So I will simply click right here. Now I want to add the description. So what I will do is I will simply add description. There you go. And now if I want to set priority, I can set it to urgent. If I want to set dates, I can just go ahead and add any date I want to. Let's just set it to tomorrow's. There you go. Now, if I want to edit any tags for this one, I can just go ahead and do that. If I want to attach anything, I want to go to your browse and add link right here. I can do that as well. Then we have dependencies. So once you have added all the information, you simply click on create task and it is added to your tasks right here. So you can see right here, I have task one. This is a list view. If I want to go for a board view, you will be able to check it uh, right here. Now I can just add as many tasks as I want to. I can go for a task two, click enter. Then I can go for a task three, click enter. So you can see I have created tasks right here. If you want to move a task, you will simply drag it and drop it in any of these lists right here. You can see that I have all of these different lists. If I want to add a status, I can just go ahead and add as many status as I want to. If I want to add a new task into any of the list, I can just go ahead and add new task right here. Simply click on new task. And then let's just say the task five is approved. There you go. And then I can add as many tasks as I want to. And then I can actually check out the calendar view. I have Gantt view, timeline, activity, and workload as well. So once you have added all of these different tasks, that is super easy to do. You can also go to automate. In automate, we get different options. For example, we can go to templates, uh, click apps. We have custom fields and statuses in here. And then if you want to get access to other options, you can simply go ahead and you can get access to all of them right here. And if you want to delete a task, you will find this option right here, which is more option in here. We get a lot of different options. We get rename, we have add to, convert to, duplicate, email to task, merge, move, dependencies, template center sharing, and archive. And then we have the delete option as well. Let's just say I want to delete this task. So I will click right here and I will click on delete and it will be deleted from here. If I want to add a new status, I will simply click right here, new status, and then I can give it a color. Let's give it this orange color and let's go with complete. And now I can just simply click on this check and then it will be added right here. You can see I have added a new status. So that is how you simply create these lists and then you can add as many tasks as you want to. So this is like the basic um, concept of ClickUp. That is how you can use ClickUp as a beginner. It's super easy to use and you can simply go ahead and start managing your teams today and you can get more productive with ClickUp. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you and now you know how to use ClickUp as a beginner. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.